it, Roxon. <gasps> oh, a hobble by Roxon. Dallas 2019. We're on the last lap, coming through. Uh, this night I got a bad start and um, was coming through the pack. Felt really good all day. I think I, I qualified first and. I just knew that, that it was going to be a tough man. I think I qualified or started about 10th and coming this last lap, made my way through. I had Kenny all, all right there and he actually did pretty good. He, he went to protect the right side of the whoops and kind of slowed up and, but yeah, he was, he was on it. I know this was going for his first win. It had been a while since all his injuries and stuff and uh, he had the red plate and, and I, I was right there when the, I think all of us were. Me, him, Eli, and Marv were about four points apart, and uh, it was a big night, you know, for, for that wise. You want to get as many points as you can every time you're on the track, and yeah, it was, at one point, I think this last lap, I was like, man, I, I don't think I have it, you know, I'm not, not close enough, and I uh, did this rhythm. I had been kind of quadding, and I saw he went tight, so I went even tighter, and he, like I said, had the right side of the whoops. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. He slowed up and I saw my chance across the ruts, bang bars, and I just remember going off that finish like I just saw wide open, thought I was going to land in the stands, and uh, we both look up and saw the, the two on top, and uh, it was pretty special, and uh, I mean, yeah, like, like we talked about, the, the closest race in Supercross history, you know, just seeing it every time I play it back is like, man, I don't know if I could have done it any any better really um, in his scenario my scenario it seemed like looking back you wish you would have done this this or that but I feel like he he did the smart thing and I was still able just to to barely get it done so uh, really cool